Right, Michelle, dinner's going to be a while longer, so are you okay to just play in here whilst I finish up? When's Dad going to be home? Right, listen, he's on his way. He's not going to be long, but look, I've got you a present to give to him when he gets in. And don't forget to say happy birthday, OK? Does that mean we're having cake for dessert, Mummy? Yeah, of course, but not before dinner, OK? I am home. Hi, Dad. I've got you a present. Oh, thank you, Ella. Oh, that a little later, though, OK? Uh, bye, babe. Are you alright? How was your last day at work? Was everyone really kind? How do you think it is when I'm going to be six foot under? Look, don't say stuff like that, especially in front of Michelle. She doesn't understand that. Still, I don't like her. How do you think I feel? Daddy, Daddy, open the present! Yeah, I will do in a minute, Michelle. Don't worry, I will. Look, will you stop having a go at everyone? I can't talk to two people at once. Hmm, I overheard at the hospital there's going to be more cuts than the NHS. Something about hundreds of nurses losing their jobs. God, I hate this government. Why do we ever elect them? Well, I don't remember electing them anyway. What difference does it make who we elect? They're all assholes. Preaching to the choir, Mick. Oh, I'm sorry for opening my mouth. Right, speaking of opening your mouth, you need to take your pills. I don't think so. For God's sake, what did you do that for? Well, I'm just... Fucking calm down, eh? Look, I'm perfectly fine, Mick. Are you? Oh, fucking fantastic. Next minute, I'll be cartwheeling round the bloody kitchen. Listen, seriously, stop swearing in front of Michelle. Michelle doesn't even know what a swear word is. Look, I know that this isn't easy for you, but please, don't make it harder for us. Talk about selfish. Yeah, it's all about you, you, you. Hey, well, I'm dying, isn't it? It's great. Janice! Janice! Wait! What are you shouting for? Where's that bourbon we have? Listen, Down here. no, listen, bourbon, you've got to stop bourbon. acting oh. like this. I doubt drinking's gonna solve anything. Look, you know this isn't like you, so why start now? Because what's my plan, you ask, right? Well, I'm gonna do everything that I didn't do before I was dead. Listen, getting drunk is hardly living at large. No. I'm gonna tell you what, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do everything. Mummy, I need a drink. Yeah, okay. Okay, baby, just one second. Well. Right, listen, we're gonna have to get through this for the sake of Michelle. Oh, sorry, just... Uh... Oh, morning, sweetie. Mummy, do we have a new beetle? No, have some Rice Krispies. Look, Michelle, I haven't had time to get any. What with, you know, working and having to look after the house. I have to steep jam then. Don't be stupid. So what do I eat then, Mummy? Look, just have some of the cereal, Mick. Will you tell her? Stop. You know what? I'm sick of your moaning already. I'll get you something on the way to school, but you better eat it. OK, Mummy. Can you get Weetles next week? Sure. Thanks, Mummy. Are you doing anything interesting today at school? No, no, probably not. We've been doing lots of handwriting and I'm not getting any better. Oh, no, well, don't worry. Look, your father's handwriting was really sloppy for years. Some people will never get the hang of it. If anybody or anything is out there right now listening, please give me just a few years with my family. I want to watch my daughter grow into a beautiful woman. I always had trouble connecting with her, even as a baby. I need one more chance to make things right before the death sentence that was cast upon me. And I thought every man must die. Only staring death in his hollow eyes do I realise how much of a coward I am. In some ways, I'm lucky. My suffering lasted only a few months. My daughter will grow up without her father. What kind of example am I setting for her? To cower away and hurt your family when times get tough. These past three months, all I have done is hide, hoping my problems will go away. I should have always be enjoying life, doing all the crazy stuff I could think of. I tried, but I only just got drunk and ate a kebab. Hardly rock star material. Come on, Mick, you know this won't help. You need to act now.
Morning. Oh, what's got you so happy? My amazing family. Mm. Are you drinking again? No, I'm not drinking at all. I just want to be remembered. I don't know how. Oh, well, good. I'm glad. I'm looking forward to school. Yeah, we're going on a trip today. Mm, what time are you uh, we're getting back then? Five. Well, make sure you don't forget your lunch. I won't, Daddy. We went shopping for it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it cost a bloody fortune. So £20 for the trip, and then mm. you've got to supply food. We may as well have all gone. Wow, can we? Maybe, Princess, in the future. No, no. Just not one more day. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, it's time. Are you hungry, sweetie? No. Oh, come on, Michelle, you've got to have something to eat. We've got a busy day today. But I want to see Daddy. That's what we're doing today, for the last time. Oh, right, the taxi's here. So come on, Michelle, there'll be a buffet before the funeral. You can have something to eat then. Come on. Mm. 